Hey guys, what's up? This is Kalbukin here, and welcome back to another Minecraft mod review. And the mod I have for you people, it's called the More Swords mod. And uh, as you can see, I have one right in my hand uh, with the awesome piggy. Yeah, whatever. So, um, yeah, it, uh, it, this mod adds a lot of awesome swords. And uh, let's get into the mod. So, the one I have in my hand will be coming later. The first one we have is the Blaze Sword. So, First, I'm just going to tell you all the names of the swords and uh, their durability and their uh, damage, how much damage it does and uh, the special abilities and uh, later I'll be going through all the crafting recipes. So yeah, the first one we have is the blaze sword that I'm holding in my hand right now. Actually, I don't need to be in uh, that mode. I can show off in this mode. And uh, so this blaze sword does two hearts of damage and it has the durability of 400 uses and the ability of this the active ability is that it shoots a, a shoots a row of fireballs and consumes uh one fourth of the max durability and the passive ability it is that it deals two ticks of damage now if you're wondering what those abilities like what they mean and um basically i'm just reading off of the form thread but uh, let's actually let me actually tell you what they are um so the active ability it's an a uh, an active ability is an ability that the user must trigger in some way for it to take place now for some reason the active abilities aren't working for me basically what this means by uh, a user must trigger in some way is right clicking the sword but uh i don't see anything happening with me i don't know I don't know if it's just me or is it a problem with everyone. Uh, if it is for you as well, please write in the comments below. But uh, yeah, for passive abilities, as you can see, uh, the passive ability of the blaze sword would, was that uh, when you hit a mob with it, it'll actually light that mob up with the fiery fire. And uh, next up, we have the blood sword, this one right here. And uh, this blood sword does three hearts of damage. It has it has a durability of uh, 1,500 uses. Its active ability is uh, that you right-click to gain several potion effects, which is not working again for me uh, for some reason. Do I need to be in like survival? Nope. Creative. Uh, nope. So it's not the not enough items fault, but uh, yeah, it's a mod fault. If you're watching mod creator, change this right now. I don't know what's happening. So, this blood sword, uh, the passive ability is that it regains 10 durability for each successful hit. So by that, I suppose that when you hit a mob, it'll get, uh, gain some, uh, some durability if you like hit it nicely and uh, yeah, it kills the mob or something. Next up, we have the bone sword. It does 1.5 hearts of damage. It has a durability of 200 uses. And uh, the active ability of this sword is uh, this sword can cause plant life to blossom, which means uh, basically it acts like a bone meal to sapling and other, other stuff. And its passive ability is unknown, so I guess we figure it out, or it doesn't have an ability. So let's actually try bone mealing this, uh, this sapling right here. Let's actually try it. And now. Okay, so as you can see, the active abilities, all of them aren't working for me right now for some stupid reason. Uh, if you can figure it out, again, please write it in the comment section below. But uh, moving on, we have the Draconic Blade, and this does 3.5 hearts of damage. It has a durability of 750 uses. Its active ability is unknown, so is uh, the passive ability. So they're both unknown. And uh, they're unknown to me, they're unknown to the world. Uh, I don't know how to figure them out, but uh, wow, I love that new feature of the of 1.4.6. But uh, yeah, they're just unknowns. I guess you figure it out yourself, uh, which I don't seem to. But uh, moving on, the next one we have is the IN sword. And uh, this does four hearts of damage. So uh, yeah. And it has 1,750 uses. Its active ability is uh, that this sword will warp the user on right click. So uh, if I, as you can see again, my right click uh, doesn't work. Any of the features of the right click. So basically all active abilities aren't working for me right now for some reason. But I don't know why. But the passive ability is uh, that the user takes no damage from active warp. 
Okay, so that means when you like when the right click actually works, you get no damage. Like uh, if you throw an Ender Pearl, you get uh, 2.5 hearts of damage, but from this, you don't. So that's pretty awesome. So next up, we have the Glass Sword. I don't know why I just uh, press Escape for some reason. Uh, but uh, yeah, the glass sword, as you can see here, it's made out of uh, glass. I'm gonna show you later the crafting recipes, as I said. But it has, it does t uh, 2.5 hearts of damage, and it has the durability of 15 uses only. So uh, don't expect it to last uh, for a long, long time because it's made out of just glass. And uh, its active ability is unknown, and so is the passive ability. So moving on next, we have the infinity so infinite. Ah. I never got that word right. Infinity. Infinity. Uh, yeah, there we go. Infinity Sword. This does 3.5 hearts of damage. It has uh, the durability of 650 uses. Uh, its active ability and the passive ability is unknown, like the Glass Sword. So, uh, moving on, next is the Lapis Lazuli Sword. And this does uh, 1.5 hearts of damage. It has uh, the durability of uh, 750 uses. And uh, same like the glass sword, it's passive and uh, active abilities are unknown to the world and will be forever. Okay, so next up we have is the molten sword. And uh, the molten sword, it is uh, it does two hearts of damage. It has a durability of 300 uses. And uh, as you saw, that's the passive ability. But uh, it has the active ability which is unknown and... Uh, yeah, and uh, passive ability, as you just saw, is that it lights mobs on fire, and it does four hearts of damage, fire damage, uh, over time. So it doesn't stop uh, until the mob dies. So let's actually check that out. It does four hearts of damage, so uh, pretty cool. As you can see, it's still there. And uh, yeah, you get cooked meat as well, so that's a good feature. And next up uh, has, is the next row of swords. Now, using the awesome feature of uh, NEI, look at this magic. Three, two, one, boom. Haha, -ha, all the swords changed. But uh, the next sword we have, have is the Aqua. I'm actually looking at the pronunciation of it. I wrote it on a website because I can never pronounce this sword's name. It's uh, Aqua. I, I I already forgot what the name was. Aquius Aqu okay. I'm not gonna go ahead and pronounce it, but it's an uh it's a sword, uh, awesome looking, and it does uh, two hearts of damage, it has a durability of three hundred uses, its active ability is unknown, and the passive ability is uh I'm sorry about the gate noise, but uh the passive ability is that mob hit will be in inflicted with slowness one for a period of time which means if you don't know is that when you hit a mob they basically get a potion effect of slowness so they're gonna walk uh, slow for some reason but uh, next up we have the master sword and the master sword does three hearts of damage it has a durability of 1450 uses and its active and passive ability are unknown to the world as well and uh, I don't seem to figure them out as well and they will be unknown forever and ever and ever and ever and okay uh, next up we have the Aether's Guard and the Aether's Guard does 1.5 hearts of damage and uh, it has 777 uses, so, so three sevens. And uh, the active ability is unknown to the world, and the passive ability is targeted mobs are launched into air. So let's actually check that out. Did that happen when I hit the pig? Okay, that one just died. That one just died as well. I don't see magic happening. Okay, so the mod th uh, thread is wrong once more. What's up with this guy, man? Dude, the mod creator, if you're watching this, this is a freaking awesome mod, only if you provide with uh, the correct information in the form thread. Thank you. Next up, we have the Candy Cane Sword. The Candy Cane Sword, it does 1.5 hearts of damage. Wow. And uh, the durability is uh, 350 uses. The active ability is that for 50 uses, you can eat a bit of this sword, healing for food and for saturation. And now, this feature, this active ability does work for me. So, let's actually go in survival. And uh, if you lose some hur hunger, you actually don't need to in order to uh, eat this sword. But 
Look at this. I'm just gonna eat my freaking sword. Look at this. Three, two, one. Om nom 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 nom. Om nom 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 nom. Yep, you can eat your sword. How awesome is that? You make a sword and uh you eat it. Yep, that's how awesome uh, Minecraft mods are. Uh you eat a freaking sword. That's made out of dye and sticks. I'm gonna show you the crafting recipe. But uh yeah, the passive ability is that mob hit will gain a short speed boost, right click will give you large speed boost. And uh so basically what that means is uh if you hit a mob they will run quicker. As you can see that pig just fled away. And uh yeah. It doesn't give them for a long, long time, but uh it does give them quite a bit. Okay, so next up is the pumpkin pie sword. And this is a pretty interesting sword. It uh it does the damage of it does the damage of 1.5 hearts and uh, its durability is 350 uses. You can eat the sword as well for 50 durability. So it'll take away 50 durability once you eat it. And uh, it'll, uh, it'll heal you with 4 food and 4 saturation. And uh, the passive ability is that mob hit will gain short speed boost, uh, speed boost if I can talk. Same as the candy cane sword. And uh, yeah. Next up, we have the Gingerbread Man. Now, this is also a sword, if you're wondering. And this does uh, 1.5 hearts of damage. And uh, its durability is 350 uses. And uh, its active ability is also the same as the Candy Cane, that you can eat it. And the passive ability is also the same, that when you hit a mob, they'll flee like crazy. Okay. Next up, we have the Wither Bane. Now, we have the awesome swords coming. Actually, not really. Uh, the next one will be really awesome. But uh, this one does 2.5 hearts of damage, and uh, it has 666 uses. Uh, the active ability is unknown, but the passive one is when you hit a mob, they'll be affected by the wither uh, effect. And uh, how did that tree, I guess that just grew naturally. Let's just cut down the wood and the leaves, because I don't want the sapling falling, but I'll do that off camera. Uh, but the wither sword, that was it for the wither sword next up we have the best sword ever that you can only hack in or you can get if you're an admin of uh, a server cuz the sword is ma made for admins and it's called the admin arc now this does 499.5 hearts of damage so that's a one hit kill for almost ev uh, for actually everything i'm not sure about the ender dragon and the wither but uh rest of the hostile and passive mobs they're dead in one hit believe me and uh the durability is nine 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 uses and uh that means it's gonna last you forever and ever. Okay, I'm not gonna start with that again. But the active ability is that puts user in stilt mode, so uh stilt mode. So I guess in servers when you right click with it, uh you'll be in this mode I guess, I'm not sure. And uh the cr uh uh I mean the passive ability at is that it has a rainbow colored name and kills everything yeah that's what I said so when you go into it as you can see it has a rainbow colored name admin arc and uh, it basically one hit kills every freaking creature you can think of no maybe not the wither and the ender dragon but uh rest yep it does a pretty well job killing those guys so next up we have is the crafting recipes for all of them so now the crafting recipe is one second guys okay so that was a waiting tune I was just reading off something really important uh, I got a message this uh so the crafting recipe for the blaze sword is one blaze, I already showed it to you guys. Two iron, uh, I mean two gold ingots and two iron ingots. And uh, yep, next up we have the blood sword. We have two obsidian, two redstone, and uh, one stick, and you get a blood sword. Next up we have the bone sword, which is just uh, five pieces of bones. And uh, yeah, you get a bone sword. Pretty cool. Next up we have the draconic sword. I love the name of that sword. Now this is pretty expensive sword. You need four blocks of iron, which is uh, nine times four, thirty-six iron ingots, uh, one diamond, one redstone, and a stick. How do you get a draconic blade? Draconic. Next up we have the IN sword. Uh, it has a cool feature if it uh, works correctly. Wow! It requires four diamonds, two uh, 
Eye of Ender and one stick. And next up we have the glass sword, pretty cheap recipe, one stick and two glass. And that's why it has only 15 uses. Then we have the infinity sword, which is one stick, two iron ingots, and four blocks of iron, which is uh, 36 ingots again. So in total that would be 38 ingots and one stick. Next up we have is the lapis sword, which is just one stick and two lapis lazuli blocks. And uh, yeah, next we have the molten sword, which is uh, one stick two lava bucket and uh, two obsidian and you get a molded sword and if you're wondering again what the texture pack is it is uh, the Bob Park Andreas NVN that is made by an awesome friend of mine who is an awesome texture pack artist you can tell that by this awesome uh, texture pack and uh, just count how many times I've said awesome in this awesome sentence awesomely created by the awesome Cobble King yeah now just count and write in the comments below but uh, next up for the molten um, I mean, the aqueous sword, the aqueous, I think that's how you say it, the aqueous sword, you take two buckets of water, two uh, obsidian, and one stick. So it's basically the opposite of the molten sword. And by the way, the download link hopefully will be in the description below of this texture pack. I mean, the mod, of course, it will be there. But if I remember for the texture pack, it will, will be there. Okay, so the, for the master sword, is uh, two obsidian, one stick, two diamonds, and uh, two iron ingots in this form, and you get a master sword. Now we have the Aether's Guard, and uh, this is two diamonds, two pieces of glowstone blocks, two uh, iron ingots, and two feather, and you'll get an Aether's Guard. And uh, next up we have is the Candy Cane Sword. Now this is what I was talking about. You take two bone meals, two rose red and two sugar and one steak and you can freaking eat the sword how is that healthy it's freaking dye and bones and stick the only thing you can do with the sword is lick it to get the sugar out of it but wow eating that sword is just yuck but uh whatever it does the work and um and now next up we have is the pumpkin pie is one egg one sugar and uh, two pumpkins with one stick you get a pumpkin pie sword and then we have the gingerbread sword which you can only hack in I mean yeah cheat in with uh, not enough items or too many items and uh, yeah you'll get the gingerbread man you can't really craft it then we have the wither bane and which is one stick one nether star two obsidian and one glowstone which means that you'll actually need to go and kill a wither in order to create this wither bane and uh, yeah and then we have the admin arc now this one is uh, you can hack in the bedrock because you'll need two bedrock and uh, one stick and you get an admin arc and that's why it is so overpowered this sword because you cannot get it in a uh, survival mode you can only get it if you are a server owner I mean the admin or if uh, you have or if you own I mean you know down uh, have the too many items or enough enough items downloaded so if you are one of those two persons uh, you can go ahead and uh, get this sword of awesomeness yeah that's that's it for this mod review I hope you guys enjoyed with my awesome uh, sword let's hold it ginger man but uh, this is Cobble King with the uh, more awesome swords mod for minecraft 1.4.6 the download link will be in the description below as always if you like please leave a like and comment and uh, subscribe to me if you haven't already and uh, as always have a nice day thanks for watching people bye 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 hey guys what's up so uh, actually if you didn't uh, stop watching right before right after I said uh, thanks so much for watching um, I forgot to uh, show you a feature which is that you can enchant any of these swords like a normal sword and you'll get all those functions such as the sharpness and uh, fire aspect and all that kind of stuff you can get that so for example it's coming to the crafting table admin arc okay so I guess except okay yeah you can admin arc boom we have sharpness too wither bane fire aspect and sharpness gingerbread knocking and breaking all that kind of crap so uh, that is really awesome so basically you can uh, have all the swords enchanted and that would be uh, twice awesomeness cause uh, it's already once awesome cause uh, that's how cool this mod is but now it's twicely awesome cause you can actually enchant even a pumpkin pie sword 
As you can see, I got smite, unbreaking, knockback, and all that kind of crazy stuff. So you can actually uh, enchant all of your swords. And uh, by the way, not only enchanting, I also had to show you one more thing of this mod, which I have seen, but I'm a little confused about, which I guess you people can uh, answer in the comment section down below, which is, let me actually put all the swords. Okay, so that is that when you go in your not enough items or too many items, you'll find each and every sword once again which are enchanted. So like for, uh, for example, you'll, say, uh, you'll see one uh, blaze sword with hellfire one, blood sword with vampirism and so on and so forth with different sword. I have no idea how to get those. If you know how, please uh, down say it in the comment section down below because uh, on the form thread it doesn't say anything but if you are the friend of the mod creator or if you are the mod creator yourself I would love to know how to get those swords in a legit survival world like this one vampirism these are some good ideas of the enchantments like fertile uh, like uh, let's see some of them are yet to be finished and uh, as you can see you have the frozen aura or you have ender pulse or asc ascension or decay, or stealth, or sweet touch, or yeah, um, that that would be really awesome to know how you actually get those swords. But uh, as always, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, this was Cobble King with the uh, more awesome swords mod. I've already said this, but I hope you guys have a nice day. Bye, people. And I just dug a hole. Well, bye.